So today is Monday the 16th of May and I'm back in a taxi and heading to Koh Samet, an island off the coast here. The drive will take about an hour and then there's ferry crossing over to the island. We're on the way now to the ferry port which is uh, located on the coast at a place called Rayong. Quite surprising that the journey down to the port is set amongst countryside. Which makes a change from the journey to Bangkok which is uh, mainly built up areas. Look at the ticket office now. The time now is 12 o'clock. The boat leaves at 12.30 but I've got to report back to the girl on the ticket desk. She's told me that she'll take care of me. I assume she means that she'll take me to the boat but uh, quite what it means I'll have to see. The ticket by the way cost 800 baht which is around about £16 and that's return. It's an open return so but I'm coming back after two nights stay in the hotel. So it's now a case of quick march along the jetty. The guy in front there in the blue t-shirt is uh, taking us up to the boat. After a very bumpy ride on the speedboat, I've come to the hotel, I've checked in. This is just outside the door of room number three. Coffee making facilities and the television, which of course I won't use but it's there. I'm just turning around, a nice size bed. But here's the big surprise. Here's my balcony. And yes, that is the beach. Not far to go for a swim, or maybe have a massage. So ready to go? I think I'm going to like it here. I think it's time for a beer. Well, apparently I'm too early for a beer at the bar. It doesn't open until five o'clock, which seems a bit of a shame. Decided to have some food, and I'm gonna have the stir-fried beef in red curry sauce. I've decided to have a refreshing drink, coconut shake, which is uh, very cold and very tasty. Apparently there are bars along the beach, so after I've had my meal I'll uh, have a walk along and see if I can find a beer bar. And lunch is served, beef in red curry sauce. in a northerly direction. This beach seems to be a little bit better maybe. Happier now. Got my beer from Jep's Beach Bar. 
kind of a chilled out place. Quite cloudy today, but it is dry at the moment and it's warm and it's very humid. So that's Jep's bar. I think I'll be having a few more beers here. Every time you turn a corner, it seems you discover another beach. Here we have the Sea Sky Bar. You can rent a kayak if you so wish. Seems as though you can take your pick of beach bars along here. Coming up here is one called the Friendly Bar. I've walked quite a long way now along the beach and it does seem to me that the hotel where I'm staying does seem to be in a much quieter kind of location than uh, further up. And how about the energy of these guys? Some more quite good hotels here. One of which says my rooms are good, clean, and safe with a nice price. I was just offered a massage by a very pretty Thai lady on the beach. Must admit, I was tempted. <laughs> But uh, I said maybe tomorrow. I had quite a long chat with her. Quite a friendly young lady. And a couple of lads out there taking up the offer to hire a kayak. Looks like this is as far as I can walk. So I say it's a bit cloudy, it's still fairly humid and really warm. But quite pleasant to have a walk along the beach today. But I do hope that it might be more sunny tomorrow. So time to go back to the hotel now. I'm not quite sure what goes on at night time in this resort. As I say, there is a fire show, which I'm not sure if it's taking place tonight. I think it may well be. But uh, a long, long way away from the nightlife of Patea. And uh, needless to say, putting your feet in the water, the water really is warm. Certainly don't freeze your feet when you go into the uh, sea here.
Tuesday and I'm sitting out on the balcony and after last night's thunderstorm which lasted quite a long time the sun is shining once again this morning and I've decided to explore the island in a southerly direction this morning. To save my feet I've decided to take one of the tourist buses and find a beach further down the coast. I've arrived at Alwai. The uh, journey just took about 10 minutes or so, not too long. It's right down the south of the island, but um, I have to say, after some early morning sunshine, I've arrived in the middle of another thunderstorm. So uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that um, it won't last too long and I'll explore the area a little bit. Fortunately, the storm only lasted a few minutes and now I'm bathed in glorious sunshine again but here's the big surprise I'm absolutely the only person on the beach so if you want to get away from it all this is definitely the place to come not even any footprints in this lovely white sand Just dipping my feet in the water. As always, the sea is really warm. <clears throat> I'm very tempted to actually have a swim here. It's very inviting. But I've got some exploring to do. There is a viewpoint that I passed while I was on the bus, which I might go and have a look at in a minute. But just look at this beach, glorious white sands, clear water in the sea, and I'm the only one here. As I say, there is a hotel here, but um, maybe just a half a dozen bungalows or so. And I'm guessing that they're not fully booked, and if they are, then everyone must be touring the other beaches. Well, I found a bar which said it was open and after about five minutes or so a lady came out to serve me. As I say, I seem to be the only one here at the moment, um, which is um, quite surprising. Wow, the beer even seems to grow on trees here. By the way, I've just spotted a group of Thai tourists who are in residency here at the hotel. So although I've got the beach to myself, I may not be the only person in the resort. This is the swimming pool of the hotel. Quite pleasant. Apparently non-residents can use a swimming pool, but they do charge quite a hefty six pounds for its use. Fancy a swing. One last view of our Y, and now I'm gonna do a little walk along the coast, see if I can find this viewpoint. And lo and behold, I have a little lizard here. So back from the beach now, there's a T-junction, Alpacarang, 
to the left is the southernmost resort on the island but I'm going to head to the right to Al Lung Dum where when I was coming in on the bus I noticed there was a viewpoint so I'm going to head off in that direction. The road is uh, very hilly as you walk along. I've just climbed up a hill now I'm going back down again and it's really hot today uh, not the best day to go walking up and here down hills but um, anyway I've just got a couple of hundred yards or so to go now to this scenic spot this is one of the bumps in the road to stop people from travelling too fast as I say in England we used to call them sleeping policemen I don't know if we still do or not but that is the bump anyway well I've arrived at Aulang Dum and there's a signpost here which says to a scenic area there are a few Thai tourists in this particular spot I'm not the only one here but in the distance there you can see the mainland over to Rayong the island is very narrow in this particular point this is looking out over the west side of the island, the west coast So say you can see the mainland there in the distance but just a few steps opposite is the east side of the island and there is a little beach here as well so I'll go and have a look at the beach as well so I've crossed over the little road and I'm going to head down to Loom Dum Beach interesting name there's a stray dog in front of me who seems to be pointing the way down I might get too close to him. Just walking along with my feet in the water again. Lovely and warm the water. And as I say, I can't believe how narrow the island is at this particular location. The distance between the scenic spot I was just at and the beach here between east and west it can't even be half a mile, it can only be a few hundred yards from one side to the other. It's one o'clock in the afternoon at the moment. I found another little bar, so time for another beer. Back on the road now, heading towards another beach location called Ao Wong Duan, which is about halfway back to my own resort of Al Pai. The waitress at the bar told me that I could walk all the way back to Al Pai. I must admit I'm not quite so sure in this heat. But uh, I'll see how I go anyway. So that was Vaughan Duan Resort. Sign just here, pointing to the Ao Wong Duan National Park. And this is Ao Wong Duan. Another beach of white sand. There's actually a few people about on this beach. Not many. And there is a jetty there. quite sure whether they do boat trips from here. So back on the road now and the next resort is Ao Cho. Signs of civilization here. A few cafes, shops. On the way to Ao Cho. Cafe here he is advertising papaya spicy salad which has actually been recommended to me papaya quite popular here on the island 
but uh, not quite sure about right now. Going downhill at the moment. I don't mind going downhill. It's going uphill that I don't particularly like, especially in this heat. So I found Alcho. Just a brief little walk down to this beach. And this is Alcho Beach. the Grand View Alcho hideaway at one end. Tried to get in at that entrance of the beach but it was saying that it was for guests only. So I walked along a little bit and found a path where I'm hoping that I'm not breaking any rules or restrictions. But again another lovely beach here can't go wrong anywhere really and it does surprise me how in some places the island is so narrow that you can see the sea on one side and just walk for about a minute or two down a path and you're on the beach on the opposite side of the island continuing the walk then I'm now on my way to Ao Lung Wang not quite sure if I've pronounced that correctly. Seems to be very close to where I've just been at Al Cho and I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually the same beach. And indeed it is the same beach. Nice little beach bar here, pool table. And up one end here, we have a Buddhist shrine. So the sign on the side of the road here now points to a beach called Al Nual. So let's take a look at that one. Bit of a long walk firstly down a kind of a dirt track road. Uh, now I'm getting towards the beach down this tricky little path. Hope it's worth it. Just a small cove at this particular resort. Quite a lot of rocks. And although there's a couple of swimmers out there, I don't think I'll go in for a swim. Because the sea is a few more waves here. Boat over there on the sea, probably going into the port, so I'm guessing I'm not too far from my own location of Alpai at the moment. Not much further to walk. And here's my refreshment, a lovely fresh Coconut. There's a little bar. And that's a view down to the beach. Seems to be 100% Thai tourists here staying at this hotel. Not too far to go now. Our Thub Thim. Is a little beach on the right hand side coming up, then come to Al Prao, and finally to Al Pai, where I'm staying. And this is the beach at Tabthim. Quite a pleasant beach, actually. Some interesting piles of stones here on the rocks. 
which um, I'm guessing that tourists to the island have been placing on top of each other. Rather similar to the way it's done on the mountains in the Lake District. Over in the distance there you can make out the beach at Alpai where I'm staying. One last look then at Tabtim. I've been pronouncing it wrong. There is an H when you see it on a signpost, but uh, at the restaurant there was no H, it was just Tabtim, but uh, I think you pronounce it as Tabtim. But a very nice beach, I have to say. Much quieter than Alpai, which is right next door. And I did have a swim here, by the way. Pity about the graffiti on the sign, but you'll see that to the right is Alpai, which is where I'm staying, and to the left of this two junction is Alpreo, which is actually, of course, on the other side, it's on the west side of the island. Bit of a lake here on the left hand side. I'm guessing it's a reservoir. Uphill again now. According to the map, that reservoir's about halfway to El Preo. And I was right, El Preo Bay is half a kilometre down that winding road there. But I'm going to take a look at a viewpoint here, which the signpost says is just 0.3 of a kilometre up this hill. Might be worth a look. And here is the viewpoint. Not as good as the viewpoint further down the island. Uh, it seems quite nice. Maybe not quite as good as the beaches on the east coast. But that's our prowl. So now, time to head back to Alpai. Luckily I'm pretty much up one end of the town of Alpai. So it's only about 200 yards to walk to the hotel. At the ferry station now. Just get the boat over to Banpei Pier on the mainland at Rayon, and then I'll be heading back to Pattaya. Fast ferry leaves the island of Kosovet. Probably in for another bumpy ride. Here we are.